Um, ladies and gentlemen, first thing is we look into factoring, we want to look into direct substitution. So if we look at that, we have you know, 16, negative 8, minus 8, that's going to go to 0, right? So direct substitution, we automatically know it doesn't work. So next thing is we look into factoring. Well, I could factor out a negative x, and I'd have an x minus 1. Factoring out the denominator, let's see, I could do a x minus 4 times uh, x plus 2. Nothing can be really factored out, though, right? But that's OK, because guess what? I'm only looking at the left-hand limit. So I'm only looking at a left-hand limit. So I can just get really, really close to it to find what the limit is, right? Because we know at 4 what is happening. At 4, there is a asymptote. So the graph is either going to infinity or negative infinity. So yeah, you'd want to make sure you know the graph is either going to go to one of those two, right? So now, let's go and use our smaller limit. Let's pick a number that's going to be really, really close to 4 from the right-hand side. So what's the number really, really close to 4 from the right? What's the number really, really close to 4 from the right? Yeah, 4.001. So let's plug that in. 4.0, I'll just do 0, 1. Keep it simple. Now again, we don't need to play mathematician here. We just need to play positive negative person. That's all we're doing. So you negative, that goes to a negative. This is going to be a positive. Denominator, that is a positive. That is a positive. But negative times positive is Negative over positive, negative over positive is negative infinity. Okay?